the University of Queensland Centre for Pesticide Application and Safety has a special place in the world of spray drift research. Located at Gatton, this modest looking lab is one of only three research facilities focused on DRTs, or drift reducing technologies. We're looking at spray drift for the whole process here through to the droplet size from the nozzle through to actually measuring drift in the wind tunnel and then in the field. Some of the places we work with overseas are looking at different parts of that story but for example they don't measure the drift in a wind tunnel. For the past few years the Queensland University team with GRDC funding support has been measuring and collating data on nozzles, spray formulations, droplet size and behaviour and the variables affecting spray movement. That data has now been linked to modelling to accurately predict what previously had to be measured. It's also being shared with the other international researchers and together they're producing a spray application app for mobile devices. So we're working with the US Department of Agriculture and the University of Nebraska to pull the thousands of measurements we've made with thousands of measurements that they've made. And now we've got the app programming underway and we would expect to have them released by the end of this year. Chemical companies are also making use of the research findings, factoring them into their own product research and producing new formulations with DRTs built in. Yeah, the new formulations that have been developed by several companies, both the pesticide and the adjuvants that go with them, are really helping to get better performance in the field. You know, growers can get a better spray, better delivery, better sticking on the leaf, and better uptake. And the formulation is critical in that. It affect, affects the atomization of the spray, it affects the evaporation, and ultimately it'll affect how much water they have to use in their tank. Hot, dry air will reduce the size of a spray droplet through evaporation, making the droplet more likely to drift. The Delta T model expresses the relationship between temperature and humidity and is a tool used by spray applicators to help determine when best to spray. What we're finding out now is through the research and the associated modelling work that we're doing that we can actually put Delta T to work for us in improving our application. And one of the key ways we do that is thinking about how much water we put in our spray mix. If we put a higher water rate out, then we're going to make our own high humidity in the spray cloud and theoretically and experimentally we find that that reduces the amount of drift significantly. Andrew Hewitt from the University of Queensland and for more information about this project email Andrew at this address. <laughs>